All right. Hello, everybody. I got a new microphone. Uh, I don't think this one's quite as good because I have to talk closer to it so you can hear me. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll swap this out for another one. Uh, I'm borrowing. This is not something I own. I have something different for you today. Obviously, I am not in my car driving around talking in my daily diary. I want to show you something, something special. But first of all, welcome to Sovereign Art Sock. I'm Michael. I, I neglect to say my name at times so people don't know the, who, who the heck I am. Um, but uh, I am not Armenian, but I have taken on really as, as my life's goal and purpose is to make uh the knowledge of the Armenian genocide, a household uh, event. The name Sogomon Talarian and Talat Pasha should be household names. Uh, and that this is the beginning of that. Uh, also, before I move on, well, let me tell you what I'm going to show you. So I have another channel. I don't always mention it. This is the other channel, Tales of Truth. And uh, I've got a bunch of historians on here. Um, a, a podcast with my Armenian historian called Hollywood and History, but there's other content you can go look. I've traveled through Armenia. It's a bunch of videos from some of my travels. I have a whole ton more of footage that I'm going to be posting here on this channel. Maybe you've seen it. Uh, I have. A, anyway, I, I'm just I'm babbling. But there's a video here that I'm going to show you how I edited it. This one right here. Uh, it's called Expose Evil. And uh, we're going to watch it through, and I'm going to just tell you about, you know, give you a behind the scenes of post-production and tell you where we got the footage, et cetera, et cetera. Try and make this short. But before we do that, uh, I want to tell you about, uh, this is a website, Christian Podcast Central, but they are also on YouTube now, so you can look them up. Uh, they have, they feature some of my podcast from this channel, from Sovereign Art Sock, and the latest one is The Fall of Ar Armenia and America, and that's uh, about a week, week and a half old, but uh, so you can go watch some more Christian podcasts over on that YouTube channel or here at the website. All right. Um, subscribe to my channel. Over here, it's gray because I am subscribed to my own channel, but if it's red on your, on your YouTube channel, platform where you're watching it. If it's red, it means you're not subscribed. Subscribed. So click it. Subscribe and click the notification bell. Go watch some videos. Comment. Comment on this one. Cl click like. All of these things are helpful for the channel because we are growing. All right. So let me show you. You're not going to see my face now because I'm going to take you to the software that I use to edit. All right. Here we go. Let's just watch um, this from the beginning. And then I'll watch it, go through it again, and comment. If the world had first known Mahmoud Talyat Pasha, it would never have known Adolf Hitler. What you're about to see is a glimpse into the most important story ever forgotten. So it's not very long. It is exactly uh, one minute long on oh, my Tales of Truth button at the end. All right, let me just show you this part, uh, the beginning part, that image of Talat, and then the very fast montage of scenes of genocide. So this is a montage that was cut together previously for another piece, and uh, I actually produced that. A friend of mine did the editing. I did the rest of the editing on this, but a friend of mine edited all this. I provided him with a bunch of this footage. It is Hitler footage. And the voiceover on that is an Armenian friend of a friend, actually a friend of the editor. Um, and it's, you know, the line I wrote, if the world had first known Mehmet Talat Pasha, it likely wouldn't have known Adolf Hitler. And what that means is if the Armenian genocide had been publicized and properly reported on around the world 
when it happened, uh, the world's attention, the, the horror of it might have uh, opened people's eyes before, before, so that Hitler couldn't have, have done it as well. Uh, it's a provocative statement. There's no way we could know that it's true. That's why I put might not have known Adolf Hitler. All right. So, so this woman, let me match frame into this. This woman is the archivist at the Armenian or the Yerevan National Archives. She, what is she pulling out here? (laughs) The prison diary, right? And she brings it in. That's the prison diary. Sogolman Tolerian. We showed up there and she's like, I've got something to show you. And boom. And we got a cop, a digital copy of it, and it's being translated. This is Armin, my historian, and another uh, historian that we'd ran into at the archive, this guy. So this is Sogamon's diary. And the handwriting analysis is the issue, right? Armin can read Armenian, but it's a matter of being able to decipher what's being said. And that other Armenian was very helpful. We had it transcribed into Armenian, from, from handwriting into Armenian, and then from Armenian into English with the translator. So transcribed and then translated. So we spent five days in this archive. There's just so much information there. And this picture comes from the personal Sogomun's own photo album. Like Sogomun handed his photos down to his family. His family handed them to me. Uh, actually, they handed a bunch of them to a priest, an Armenian apostolic priest, and I got copies. And so I did a little effect on there, again, with the sound effect. You can go to the channel and watch this video as much as you want. The other, the Tales of Truth, watch through it. This is in the Armenian Revolutionary Federation Museum, also in Yerevan. This is Sogolman's, like, his papers, his passport, his actual legal document. And these are, we went to the home of a relative, I can't disclose this, but one of the very close relatives and looked through their personal family photos. So I have an album from one side of the family, and then we just got on film looking through the pictures of uh, another part of the family. So uh, this is also in the Armenian Revolutionary Federation Museum. These these pictures, that's someone with one, one of his children. This is the oldest Christian church. This is at Korvirap. This is a church that when we visited, we happened to go on a Sunday and they were having service there. It was amazing. And this is just a time lapse. I love this shot. And I, I put an effect on it. And this is Mother Armenia. I like that lens flare on it. Especially This is bird's eye view of Yerevan Square in Tbilisi, Georgia. Here, let me just show you what this drone footage looks like. Look at this gorgeous you know the drone is turning a little bit the cars are turning in the opposite direction it's a nice visual effect so Sogolmun, before he went to war this is where the armenian revolution or the sorry the volunteers uh this is 19 it was 1914 and 1915 they were stationed here before they were sent to the front lines so Sogolmun, there's a couple of hotels and restaurants here where all the Sogolmun would eavesdrop and so would hang out here and then not too far is where not too far from here is where the woman he fell in love with lived. This is actually a film archive in Tbilisi, Georgia, and uh, we are communicating with them, getting more of this footage. All right, so this footage here is from the Russian archives, and this is what they had to deal with. This is where they were, you know, when they were going to the front lines, they hiked through mountains here. I love that I have this footage. There's more of it. And I might be able to actually even find Sogomon in the footage, which would be incredible. A flashback in time. All right. And this is taken from, an, this one shot is taken from another film. I just, this nice shot of uh, hands opening the picture of Talat. This is actual footage of Talat. It's not very long, just a little bit. And then there's our hero. And this is a, you know, this is a provocative image. It's not an actual, I mean, I'm 99.999% sure this is not an actual front page, right? It was reported that day, March 15th, when it happened, March 15th, 1921, when he assassinated Talat. Uh, 
it was reported. It was probably the next day. It was reported in New York, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it was the same day, but it wasn't front page news here in America. But this is definitely a provocative image. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. It was kind of long and rambling, um, but uh, that's kind of behind the scenes of what it takes to, that was a one minute clip and there's a lot of work that goes into it. And since I'm not getting paid to do it yet, that's, it's just a glimpse of what I'm able to do. Oh, another thing, the music, the sound track here, I'll play it here. That was uh, donated to me by a friend who lives in Glendale. He's not Armenian, but he's a musician and he's actually a, very very involved with the armenian community and he's uh, donated that music i thought it was appropriate um all right subscribe share etc i'm done